Hello underwater friends, I am Justin Carmack. Welcome back to Critter Hunter. Today, let's talk about the top dive sites in Mozambique. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. All right guys, so Mozambique is a pretty remote dive location and it's gonna be for the more intrepid, adventurous scuba divers or scuba travelers. And for somebody that's been there myself, I highly recommend uh, Mozambique and the dive sites there and it's definitely worth the trip. So in no particular order, here are my five favorite scuba locations in Mozambique that I highly recommend. So let's get into it. Number five, I gotta go with tofu. To tofu. Uh, before I get started, uh, I'm gonna be mispronunciating like 90% of everything in this this video. Um, even tofu. T O F O. Locally, they called it tofu. So let's go with tofu. <laughs> but tofu is an awesome location. It's kind of centrally located, and. When I was there, there's a lot of marine biologists stationed there because it's a great spot to find manta rays, humpback, humpback whales, and whale sharks, as well as dolphins and various other species. But when you're there, no matter what time of year, you're almost guaranteed to see one of those. It's a great spot for megafauna. The channel is deep. It's kind of a corridor for pelagic in between Mozambique and Madagascar. Madagascar and it's definitely a good spot to go. It's a really popular holiday destination for South Africans because the diving is great, the beaches are great, the food's great and it's just a wonderful place to go. So I highly recommend heading there. So number four I'm gonna say Nakala Bay. So this look this bay is located in northern Mozambique and is a bit of a trek to get to, but is well worth the trip. Nikala is actually known as having the deepest natural port in all of Africa, and that comes with a lot of nice dive sites suited for all skill levels, really. It's warm year round, and you'll enjoy tons of great corals and fish species. It's definitely a site that it's a little harder to get to, but not too bad. Um, but it's still protected and it's a great sight. And especially if you want to get away from the crowds and still see a lot of great coral and species. Number three, I'm going to say the Bazaruto Archipelago. Try saying that fast. Just off the coast of Villanculos is the Bazaruto Archipelago. It's a protected area with crystal clear waters and a huge amount of marine life. Not to mention awesome visibility. So basically you can dive here year round. You're gonna see tons of fish that are popular in Eastern Africa um, and amazing coral reef. It's actually been nicknamed the Pearl of the Indian Ocean by divers, which is saying quite a lot. I mean, that includes all of Mozambique, Tanzania, Mauritius, Seychelles, there's a lot of dive sites in the Indian Ocean, so if they're saying that the Bazaruto Archipelago is the king, then you definitely need to visit. And number two, I'm gonna go with Pamene and Morogulo. Don't ask me how to pronounce that. This area is a pretty quiet area of Mozambique uh, with your standard beautiful beaches and great diving. These two areas are popular among divers and travelers who want to see manta rays. Pamene and Morugulo are actually about 40 kilometers apart along the coast, uh, but they share all the same dive sites somewhere in the middle. And it's actually been said that you can see manta rays at nearly every dive site. So a lot of divers go there just for that. It's a great place to see them, whether you st where, it doesn't matter where you stay. As long as you get to dive that area, you're going to see mantas. And number one, let's go with Pemba Island. With shallow reefs, tons of marine life, and dive sites for all skill levels, Pemba Island is hugely popular for scuba diving travelers. It also happens to be 
Uh, the gateway for another incredible dive site or dive area, Coimbus National Park. That is definitely mispronounced. Pemba is pretty remote and so reserved for the more adventurous travelers. And you can even get to Pemba Island from southern Tanzania. So whether you want to dive the awesome dive sites of Pemba itself or just get to the Coimbus National Park, I highly recommend a visit here. So there you have it guys. That, are my, that is my top 5 recommendations for where to scuba dive in Mozambique. Have you, have you guys been anywhere else in Mozambique that I didn't mention? Or have you been to the ones I did mention? Let me know what you thought. Were you happy with them? Were you disappointed? Did they blow your mind? Let me know in the comments below. I'm coming out with a new video every two days. So make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one.